And the reason it, that we're doing this is because it's really important that you're in this hall. It's really important that you're in this building. It's important that you and your companies, your teams, be recognized for the incredible work that you do and for what you help create in this great state of ours. So we're having you here today to celebrate you. I know you've received celebration and acknowledgement uh, from Time Magazine, but we wanted to make sure that we were celebrating here the work of all of you because it's so, so important to us and it's important to me as governor. And so first off, appreciate that. And secondly, there are a lot of people um, in this building who work really hard day in, day out to think about the kind of policies that make sense that are gonna move us forward. And it's good for all of you to get to know all of us and all of them. Um, and to that point, I wanna acknowledge a few folks who are with us today. In addition to our Lieutenant Governor, Kim Driscoll, we have our Secretary of Energy and Environmental Affairs, Rebecca Tepper. We have our Secretary of Economic Development, Amon Howe. We have our CEO of the Mass CEC, Emily Reichert, and other members of our administration. Importantly, we have our friends in the legislature here today, and I'm excited to introduce Chair Jeff Roy is with us today, Rep. Jenny Armini, Rep. Owens, Rep. Haggerty, Rep. Gordon, Rep. Linsky, Rep. Ramos, Rep. Kasner, and we have many folks from many other legislative offices as well, and people are coming in and out, so we'll make sure we acknowledge people. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you to all of the wonderful climate tech leaders who are here today. We're here to celebrate your company's recognition in, times, in Time Magazine's list of America's top green tech companies in 2024. So congratulations. <clears throat> now, we knew that we had a world-class climate tech sector. But it's great to see that reflected in this recognition, see it validated, um, the work, your vision uh, recognized. Out of all the states, here's what we're really proud of, we're, we have the most companies per capita, so we continue to punch above our waist and, weight, and in total companies, in total companies, we're second to only California. That means we are out-competing a number of much larger states. Now yesterday, we got some more exciting news because Time published another list. This is the world's most sustainable companies. And number one on that list uh, as the most sustainable company in the world is Schneider Electric. Schneider's North American headquarters is in Andover, Massachusetts. And they employ, <laughs> they employ 1,600 people in our state. So we're proud and grateful to them, along with all the companies who are here today. Climate Tech is a statewide success story in Massachusetts. The companies recognized by time range from Holyoke, Massachusetts, to Rowley, to Westboro, to Devons. They're in the corridor from Woburn to Billerica, Burlington, North Andover, or in the cluster of Boston, Cambridge, Somerville, and Watertown. You're homegrown through our universities, our startup incubators, backed by our strong venture capital sector, and in partnership with the Mass Clean Energy Center. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to visit many of your companies, and I look forward to visiting many more. The range of your innovation is also breathtaking. You're on the cutting edge of renewable energy sources from hydrogen to fission to geothermal to wind. You're developing solutions for grid resilience, decarbonized building and manufacturing materials, sustainable agriculture and aquaculture, chargers and energy storage, environmental waste treatment, including PFAS removal, and even weather prediction. Your innovations are helping the world meet the climate challenge, which ultimately will save millions of lives. Your growth is bringing jobs and opportunities to communities across the state. A recent analysis ranked our economy third among U.S. states for overall strength. And what's even better, within that analysis, we're ranked number one for innovation. It's companies like yours um, that we owe so much thanks to for those rankings. And it's reflected in our economic success today. But you know, any level of success, just, as, uh, just as in the way you approach your work, it's always about moving forward and gaining and building. And so to that end, we proposed 
the Mass Leads Act, which is our economic development legislation that calls for a historic investment in climate technology. I want Massachusetts to be the global hub. <clears throat> the global hub. I want Massachusetts to be the global hub for climate technology. We did it in life sciences. We're going to do it in climate tech. And I want to thank all the members of the legislature who've worked really hard. Great to see the economic development bill move out of the House yesterday. Thank you to Chair Michaelwitz, Chair uh, Roy, and others for uh, making sure that that's included and uh, supporting climate tech, which would, this bill, do a number of things, including expand capital for innovation, tax credits, and workforce partnerships. We already did the analysis through the UMass Donahue Institute. It shows a ROI of you know, 12 to 1, I said that right, 12 to 1 ROI for this investment. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, it's an opportunity we can't pass up. Super excited to have you all here and uh, super excited to celebrate all of you. And now I'm going to bring forward our fabulous Lieutenant Governor, Kim Driscoll. Thank you, Governor. And thank you again to our legislative partners. Uh, I know I see Chair Paraselli here, representative from Beverly, who spearheaded the economic development bill through the House. Thank you so much, Chair Paraselli, for joining us. <laughs> Governor and I feel so fortunate to uh, be helping lead a 400-year-old state whose calling card has been innovation, and all of you really embody that. And so being able here today to celebrate not only outstanding leadership, but the innovators and the companies that have become our calling card is extra special. I really want to make sure we're emphasizing the opportunities that this sector offers to students and working people across our state. As the governor mentioned, the economic analysis from the Donahue Institute, there's not many things where you give a dollar and you get 12 back. That's a good deal. But in addition to the more than $16, $16 billion worth of economic activity, the Mass Leads Act would also create nearly 7,000 new jobs, 6,700 new jobs tied to the sort of industry and ecosystem that we're creating when we make strategic investments like the Mass Leads Act will do. That's jobs in STEM, in science, and technology that we're preparing our students and workforce for. You see, it's not just about what we're doing on the workforce side, it's also connected to education. We're expanding high school innovation pathways, community college programs, workforce training opportunities, all to sort of meet the growing demands that all of you are fostering. Strong employer partnerships are a key piece of that, and so we're so grateful to work with you, not just on what you're doing within your own environments, but also helping grow that workforce and create those educational opportunities. This sector's growth also means jobs for construction and manufacturers, for teachers and trainers, drivers and maintenance workers. It's a wide range of individuals who will benefit from this investment, and those are jobs that pay well and help support families. In a state where meeting ends meet can be difficult, creating those employment opportunities is critical. We're making sure that this is a diverse workforce and that that impact will be equitable across this state. That's the work that we're doing with Mass CEC. They already excel at that. I know some of you have already been involved with the Clean Energy Center and have formed strong partnerships. We want to continue to see those grow and harmonize. And one of the best benefits of bringing you all together is if you don't know each other, you will after this event and the one that Mass Competitive Partnership is hosting to ensure we continue to strengthen each other's success by leaning in, talking to each other, fostering those strong relationships. That's what excites us. That's exactly what the Mass Leads Act will continue to invest in. It's not only investing in the research and the startups and the scrappy companies that continue to make Massachusetts their calling card. It's also about historic investment in the people who live in our Commonwealth. The next generation of innovators will benefit from this. The folks who come into your labs and others coming up with amazing new ideas, we want to make that runway as easy as possible. So we're exciting to scale this work, grow your talent pool, be in a position to bring opportunities to the young people, the 500,000 graduates who just this May graduated undergraduate and graduate degrees in Massachusetts. We want to keep them here. We want to keep building a successful pipeline. And these are the opportunities that all of you can help and partner with us. It's now my pleasure to introduce Secretary Howe, who's leaning in on the economic development efforts that we have, led a year-long effort to create this plan, and is now helping make sure we shepherd it through the legislature. Secretary Howe. And she has all of us wearing these Team Massachusetts bracelets. So. Yes. How did you know? I w anyone who knows me knows I talk about Team Massachusetts. It's a tremendous honor to be in this role and to be part of this incredible team. And we have the best team, starting with our captain our lieutenant governor, our governor, 
We have an amazing team. Play, raise your hand, all of our legislators. We have the best legislators partnering with us on the team. Um, <laughs> woo! We have, I get to work with the best teammates in our cabinet and with our quasis, like the Mass Clean Energy Center, and we have all of you. We have the best startup founders. We have the best universities. We have the best venture funders. We have all of the ecosystem. We have Jay Ash. We have Ben from Western Mass. We have JD here. We have Elizabeth Turnbull Henry. We have the whole team, and everyone plays different roles on a team. We have the best team here on Team Massachusetts, and we know what best teams do, right? When you're a, a great team and you're the best, you win. <laughs> And in, in some industries, in some industries, when you win, you get a duck boat parade. Now, uh, in our, you know, my world, before taking on this role in state government, I spent my whole career in the private sector. And unfortunately, in the private sector and business, and I was the COO and CFO of a startup, like all of you, um, it's not as glamorous. There's no duck boat, nothing as fancy. You don't get the, like, the big trophy. But you get moments like this. And so today is our duck boat day for this group. We want to celebrate these moments and these milestones when we have the best teams working together across the state to support each other and to win. That's what we do here in Massachusetts. The other thing in, that matters about the best teams is it's not just winning, it's why you play the game and it's how you play the game. So here in Massachusetts, we don't win just for the sake of winning. We win because we want to solve really big, hard, important problems. The son of Massachusetts JFK, he said it the best. We don't choose to go to the moon. One of my many bracelets is choose the moon. We don't choose to go to the moon because it's easy. We do it because it's hard. We are now facing the most existential crisis of our planet. Um, and we have already taken on huge leadership from Secretary Tepper and Climate Chief Hoffer, led by the governor, Lieutenant Governor, to have ambitious targets. We also want to lead with coming up with innovations and solutions, as the governor and lieutenant governor talked about. And so all of you here are helping us lead by doing the hard things. And we're doing it by working together as an ecosystem and celebrating. So that's what we're doing here. And we in the state, we want to be a key part of that team. So you might be the, the, the you guys are the flashy players. You're, you're the, you're the, um, you know, the, the Jason uh, Tatums and the, and the, uh, and the Jalen Browns. Um, and maybe the Porzingas. We're, we're, we're more on the, we're on the sidelines. We want to make sure you have all the coaching and all the support you need, which is why the governor filed the Mass Leads Act uh, on March 1st and why we're so grateful for the legislature for, for making progress on that. But this Mass Leads Act proposes a billion dollar investment in supporting all of you and giving you the fuel, the environment, the tools, the resources to practice and to win together and to solve these big problems, to save our planet and to create all kinds of jobs for all kinds of people across all of our regions. So that's what we're here to do together. And um, we're so grateful, we're so excited to celebrate all of you and we're so excited to see you all win, not just today, our, our, our kind of one of our celebrations, but as you go forward and IPO and become global leaders here from, from here in our state. So let's go Team Massachusetts, congratulations. Excellent. This is great. And also, um, thanks so much, Secretary Howe, um, for your leadership. We also have our Undersecretary for Economic Development and Economic Foundations, Ashley Stolba. Thank you for the work that you do and others on our team. We're also joined by Representative Joan Moschino and Representative Don Wong. So thank you for being here. So now, um, now is the moment where it's, it's our pleasure to, prevent, to present official citations on behalf of myself and the Lieutenant Governor. And here's what they read. They say, in recognition of your place on Time Magazine's top green tech companies 2024 list, we commend you for your dedication to sustainability, technological innovation, and environmentally conscious business, expressing the values of Massachusetts on the national stage and beyond, the Commonwealth wishes you nothing but continued success in your endeavors. And we're going to call folks forward, I believe, and the LG is going to help here with the secretary. And I'm going to read the names to uh, to begin. We have 6K from North Andover. Solving the environmental challenges of battery material production. Congratulations, 6K. We have cameras? Okay.
from, from, uh, <clears throat> from Mansfield, uh, home of the great Mansfield Deli. A Clarity, removing and destroying PFAS from our environment. Congratulations, A Clarity. from Bill Ricca, AM Batteries. AM Batteries is at the forefront of lithium ion dry electrode technology. Yeah. <laughs> the photo situation is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Too complicated. It's okay. You know what? Maybe we don't need it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, from Westboro, Ascend Elements, a uh, place I visited, manufacturing advanced battery materials using recycled elements. There we go. We're not going to be in the picture. We're going to do this. <laughs> From Rally, Blackburn Energy. Blackbird Energy, which is developing hybrid charging technology. Congratulations. <laughs> From Woburn, Boston Metal, commercializing green steel. For those who don't know, <clears throat> steel was first manufactured in North America in 1640 in Saugus, Massachusetts, okay? Today, Boston Metal is showing the way to manufacturing green steel, really cool. We have from Holyoke, Clean Crop, creating preservative-free safe foods. All right. And from Devons, Commonwealth Fusion Systems, developing fusion power plants that deliver cost-competitive clean energy. <laughs> from Somerville, Eden, recovering the Earth's geothermal heat. Congratulations, Eden. And from Natick and Devons, electric hydrogen, offering a cost-effective solution for decarbonized hydrogen fuel. Great. Factorial Energy from Woburn, revolutionizing EV batteries. From Woburn, we have Gradients, Sustainable Solutions for Industrial Water Usage. <laughs> From Boston, Indigo, where's Indigo? Great, Indigo AG, okay, Improving Food Quality, Farmer Profits, and Sustainability. Right here. Innovasia from Boston, sustainable solutions for fish farming and aquaculture. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Envio from Cambridge, empowering farmers with natural solutions that support crop health. From Boston, Line Vision. Line Vision solving critical grid issues to advance our transition to clean energy. Emily would note that 19 of the companies that, that, we're, uh, that we're naming today uh, were, received funding from the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center. So again, we thank the CEC, and we thank, and you should thank our legislature for funding the Mass CEC to be able to provide these funds. So thank you. Okay, from Cambridge, Malta, providing on-demand power and grid stability. cycle from Burlington, reducing carbon emissions associated with transporting metals globally for processing. We have a uh, Quays Energy from Cambridge, delivering geothermal energy to future generations. Singularity, we're Singularity from Somerville, an innovative software platform tailored for utilities, grid operators, corporations, and tech providers. Spark Charge from Somerville. <clears throat> Powering EV adoption through innovative mobile charging solutions. from Somerville and Holyoke Sublime Systems with the first <clears throat> with the first we talked about green steel now we're talking about green cement the first to cement to commercial scale that approaches true zero carbon an example of a company that's having a statewide impact you heard that Somerville all the way to Holyoke that's really cool uh, to Tomorrow IO, uh, which is in Boston, which is, this is important to me, uh, advanced weather forecasts yeah. <laughs> to help organizations and governments optimize operations, protect employees and assets, and ensure long-term resilience. I do not like <laughs> These guys actually get it right, too. Veer, where's Veer from Woburn? The next, Veer right here, the next generation of superconducting electric transmission lines. More please. Also from Woburn, Verdox which is a company that does carbon capture that runs entirely on renewable electricity. Cool. <laughs> 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 From 
from Watertown via separations, making industrial processes more green and efficient. And from Burlington, Windesco, Renewable Energy Performance Analytics, allowing turbines to communicate with and learn from each other. And last, but certainly not least, having visited and spent time in Somerville, we have Form Energy, which does really cool stuff, multi-day storage uh, systems that enable a clean and reliable electric grid all year round. Congratulations, Form Energy. And also joining us this morning, we have Rep. Marjorie Decker and Senator Bruce Tarr. Woo. So this is awesome. I'm really glad we did this. Yes. Um, <clears throat> no, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. We look forward to your continued growth and success. What you do is so important, not just for Massachusetts, and it is important for Massachusetts in economic growth and development, and that's why we're working on a whole bunch of things, including housing, because we want people to be able to come here, stay here, not just graduate and incubate here. We want them to expand and grow, so we're working on that right now. Um, but you just keep doing the awesome work that you're doing, and you've got a state house behind you. So really, really, um, really, really excited about that. And I want to thank members of our team who worked hard to put this uh, together and to, to get everyone here. Um, and thank you to this team uh, represented here who is uh, totally, totally in your corner. We, um, we also want to welcome everybody to stay on for what will be a really exciting conversation. We've got Rebecca Davis and the Mass Competitive Partnership here organizing a wonderful uh, event and conversation to continue the celebration of our wonderfully vi vibrant climate tech economy here and all of our great, great companies. Thank you so much, and Rebecca will have you up.